coffee roasters. I wanted to show you real quickly uh, how you can set up your uh, PC to use artisan software. Generally speaking, when we sell you a new machine uh, and you've made the payment, you get uh, or the deposit, you get a manual, you get a setup guide for artisan software, and you get links to the website that takes you to artisan as well as links to where to download the dr specific drivers because each uh, roaster uses a different data logger each brand and you will need to go get the correct driver to get it to work so the first thing to do is to take you to the tech support page on our website if you don't already have all those links and right here everything's available to you you can click the download artisan software which will bring up um, the artisan page and then you choose which one of these types you need uh, if you need it for the Linux system for the for the uh, Windows in this case I need mine for Mac you see Windows Mac Linux so I click on Mac uh, the great thing about a Mac is it uh, will uh, automatically start downloading here for you and when it downloads you can just click on it and install the software I won't go into detail about installing the software because uh, it's pretty simple straightforward it depends on the operating system that you're using so once you have that software installed we're now going to show you going back to the tech support page uh, that you download the correct driver and here we go right here drivers are needed with artisan for each type roaster if you're using a BC1 and you don't want to use the internal built-in uh, data logger that only does BT and you you bought the fidget kit you'll want to go here to download the fidget driver uh, if you uh, need to download one of these other ones for example in the uh, older BC units it's the FT232R in the newer 2017 and 2018 models it's the CP210 driver you would click on that since this is a Mac I'm going to show you how to do that uh, obviously if you need a Windows there it is right there for you scroll keep scrolling down here we see one for Mac operating system here's for Linux too so we click on the uh, download VCP and uh, as you can see it is downloading I got a bunch of stuff downloading I've got uh, artisan downloading uh, I've got uh, actually two artisans downloading because I started to download before you all came and then I downloaded the driver the driver's tiny so we're gonna click on that because it already uh, did its thing and uh, there it's asking you to accept the driver now it's going to go ahead and install the driver which uh, uh, only takes uh, a moment or so to install and there's all the files for it <clears throat> click on this box if you're in uh, Mac and then it'll ask you to continue then you have to fully agree and now it uh, will install unless you want to change it to a different location if you do, are installing it on a Mac you'll need to enter the password for your uh, machine and now it's installing and that should just take a matter of seconds depending on how fast of a uh, computer you have uh, it says less than a minute so we'll let that do its thing And while that's doing its thing, you can come back over here and see. It uh, looks like I already got Artisan installed. Might as well get rid of that one. I don't know what took that so long. But we already got Artisan installed. So you click on Artisan. And now let's go ahead and let it uh, do its installation. And there, I think that's it. We'll find out in a minute here. Yep, it's installing it right now. Oh, what I have is uh, Artisan can't be open because it's from an unidentified developer. So in this case, I need to go into my uh, security preferences and uh, allow this website to 
uh, download and install this program. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that, and then I'll get right back with you.